Black shards of plastic, a bike light, and a bell broken in half are all that's left after a devastating crash. Three cyclists struck by an SUV, killing one. The sun was still out when police arrived at the scene on 7th Street in St. Catharines, just steps away from a public school where the speed limit is 40 kilometers an hour. Police say a white Ford SUV was traveling southbound when it hit the cyclist. Those who were at the scene say the vehicle hit them from behind. All three were from Mexico and worked at nearby Spring Valley Gardens. 35-year-old Furman Soto Sanchez was later pronounced dead. He leaves behind a wife and two children. He was one month shy of his 36th birthday. It's a really tough day for everybody. Um, you know, the main thing is, is that one guy was, was killed, which is obviously the hardest part. Um, the two guys that were injured are, are going to be okay, but for the staff, it's, it's a tough, tough day because uh, these guys are like family. Sanchez worked at the family-run farm for 11 years. Owners of the farm say he was beloved and a gentle giant. Stephen Vancouvering, one of the owners, says the farm offers transportation for employees during work hours. One of them had a flat tire, which is the reason why they're pushing the bikes. And um, so, I mean, we help out where we can. Mm -hmm. But what happened yesterday, it was, it was after work hours. That's why they were on bikes right. rather than in the company vehicles. One of the two workers are still in hospital. The other was back at the farm to mourn. All very devastated. Yeah. Some aren't able to work, uh, some are doing the best they can. We're not really pushing anything on anybody today. Um, just taking it easy, we brought in lunch, we're doing the same for supper. Um, just try to, you know, support wherever we can. The driver of the vehicle has been working with police and charges haven't been laid at this time.